also known as the Skin Energy Doctor, and my mission is to prescribe you your true reflection so you only get better with age. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Terry here again. Today I'm going to talk about hormones and the link to youthful skin. Okay. And why is it important to know about this? It's important because if you're spending a lot of money on your skincare and you're not looking at internal causes, you might be wasting a lot of your money unnecessarily. So let's look at what happens first when you age. What happens to our skin? Now, our face, let's look at our face, it's much easier. Our face made up of your skin, your muscles, and your fat, and your bones, okay? So as we age, what happens? Number one is we look at your bone structure first. Your bones resorb, okay, so it becomes shrinkage. So if you look at your jawline, your mandible, a lot of them recede, so you lose your chin because it recedes the bones. And then you lose your fat in your face as well, so you get a very flat face. Your muscles lose its strength, so everything starts to sag. Your skin starts to age, so you get drier skin, you lose your moisture, you start to wrinkle, you get broken veins, you get larger pores, you get puffy eyes, you get lines and wrinkles on your forehead, and you just get tired, hooded, everything. Just everything is going south, really. It's not a very nice look, and if you're imagining it, oh my god. Okay, so sometimes I've lost of my clients sometimes I look in the mirror and just say, oh my god, I look like my mother. Okay, I'm worried I look like my mother, so what can I do to, to prevent that? So that's what happens to your skin when we age. So what can we do to reverse that, if you like? So there are kind of three main causes um, to aging. So you've got your environment, you've got your genetics, and your one important point is your hormones. Now for women, after the age of 40 or so, you start to lose your female hormones, which are estrogen and progesterone. Now, estrogen and progesterone is produced through your ovaries when you release your eggs. And it's important because for the skin, your, the skin, the vagina, your hair, and your bladder have receptors to estrogen. So for the skin, what it does, it maintains your blood flow, your blood circulation, so you have a nice glow. It's an antioxidant for your skin. It also heals your skin as well. It also stimulates your collagen and elastin production. Your progesterone protects your skin. It protects it from the depletion of collagen and elastin as well. So it's important to maintain a good level of estrogen and progesterone. Now research has shown that postmenopausal women on HRT or on hormone replacement therapy actually look younger and have less wrinkles than women who are not on HRT. And so you do want to consider whether HRT is right for you. Now, of course, if you go down the route of hormone replacement therapy, you want to make sure you, you get on the bioidentical hormone version because that's the identical chemically structure to your body and is safer for your body compared to the synthetic when you've got lots of side effects as well. If you're spending a lot of money on just skincare without looking at your internal causes of aging, you may be climbing a slippery ladder sinking down on quicksand. Okay, so you don't want to, you want to make sure you optimize what you're using externally by optimizing yourself internally as well. I hope that was useful. You can find more information on our website at the end of the, our video. And if you'd like to book an appointment with us, we hope to help you live longer, healthier, and happier. And look younger, of course. So that's me, Dr. Terry. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.